My name is Jez, and I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about how to use iWeb and um, how to publish your website onto the internet without using a .Mac account. So um, you'd need to have purchased some web space uh, from a web hosting company, and you should also have a domain name registered uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. For it to make any sense and for you to get your website online. So, hopefully, you're using a Mac and you're uh, obviously using iWeb. So, uh, let's bring up my website here. Um, and this is a website I've designed, it's jazzbelldesigns.com. And uh, I've, I've made all the changes I want to do and, and designed my website, it's all ready to go. So, I'm happy with it. So, I would like to get it online. So, the first thing I need to do is you know, it's always worth just saving all the copies, all your changes, uh, and then you're going to publish to a folder. So click publish to a folder, and then you're going to select where you want to publish it to. So there it is, just by designs, and then uh, I'm going to save it to this folder here. I've made uh, created quite a few websites, so I have a folder called websites, and as you can see, those are my other websites there. Uh, but just remember where you are uh, publishing your your website to. Uh, when you're happy with it, you just click choose. Uh, obviously, I already have it in here, so I'm just going to uh, replace it with the updates I've made. And while that is going, uh, you're going to need uh, another program which I use uh, called Cyberduck. Now, Cyberduck is a free program, uh, and it is cyberduck.ch it's a free uh, download uh, it's been around for some time now it's a fantastic program um, if you do use it all it's definitely worth making a donation up here um, it is a fantastic program very easy to use uh, so I'll walk you through that in a minute uh, once your site has been published if you click visit now it will open up in your uh, web browser uh, you can just check your site. It's definitely worth doing that for the first time. Just make sure all your links work and uh, your pages go from page to page and all that sort of stuff. Everything looks good. And you'll see what it looks like actually online. So it's definitely worth having a look at that. Um, I've done all that before, so I'm pretty happy. I haven't made too many major changes. So I'm just going to click OK. Um, so we're done with iWeb for now. Um, next thing you can do, we're done with this for a second. Um, Next thing we're going to do is, is go to your Cyberduck, um, open Cyberduck, and what you need to do is you need to make a new, open a new connection. Uh, if this is the first time you've used it, your server is going to be your domain name, so mine would just be simply uh, jezbeldesigns.com or whatever it is. You don't need the www or anything like that. Just type in your domain name there, and hopefully you've already got your domain name and your web hosting company linked together. So they're reading from each other, or maybe you bought them from the same place. That's sometimes the easiest thing to do. Uh, your username and password, you should have got that. That's your username and password from your web hosting company. Because what we're doing is we're accessing our, our uh, account with them through Cyberduck. So if you type in all the information and, uh, and then click connect, and you should uh, connect. If you're having problems, uh, you can go to the Cyberduck uh, website, and they have a help page. And a little bit more information or also hopefully your web hosting company should give you um, a lot more help on that as well so you can always contact them uh, so I'm just going to uh, connect here so just about designs uh, and then the file you're looking for is your public HTML file uh, if you open that up uh, you can see I have a couple of websites in here on this uh, on this server, and I'm going to go over to Jezbel Designs. Okay, so once that's uh, open, now obviously this is the first time you've used it. When you open your public HTML, you won't have any of this in here. Uh, you'll just have your CGI bin, uh, and that's it. And so all these files I've dragged in from my from my hard drive. So you need to navigate your way. Oh, wrong button, sorry navigate your way back to uh, 
why you keep your websites uh, and you're looking for this um, just about designs.com and the index.html and I know uh, that's what I just saved because I saved it just a few minutes ago so you're going to select them and then keep cyberduck open here and all I'm going to do is just drag these into my public HTML but I'm going to drag it into, into this folder here and just drop it and um, I already have it in there uh, but I've made a few changes so I just click overwrite and it just wipes the whole old file off and puts the new one on so it's going to take a few, few minutes there um, but like I said before uh, you, you would just have your CGI bin and so all you do is you just drag that straight into your public HTML file folder and it uploads. Um, so depending on how big your website is depends how long uh, that's going to take. So um, it's going to take a few minutes so we're just going to have to wait for that uh, and I will pause this video and get back to you. So as you can see, uh, CyberDuck is fully uh, transferred and it says transfer complete. So hopefully if everything has worked out well, all we need to do is just check online to see if our website is up and running. And there we have it. Our website is up online, jazzbelldesigns.com. So hopefully this has been of, any, of some help to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and ask me, or you can post them, uh, any questions underneath this video, if you're watching it on YouTube. So thank you, and stay tuned for hopefully some more iWeb help tutorials.